It shouldn't surprise you that as a retirement income certified professional, I work with people who hope to retire. It's my job not just to help them get there, but deal with the risks that can derail their plans. And there are a lot of them. Market risk, the chance of your investments going up or down, while scary and impactful, is only one of many risks you face. Over the next few videos, I'll explain several of the other very real risks you need to manage. Let's start with having more years than money. This can be caused by longevity risk or outliving your plan. Don't underestimate your lifespan, especially if your family has a history of long life. Always better to overestimate this in your plan. Kind of a downer to be 80 years old and run out of money. Then there's inflation risk or the fact that your stuff will likely cost more then than it does now. Not figuring a cost of living increase in a long-term income plan can really blow it up. Sure, it looks much better on paper, but as a planning strategy, it's about as valuable as living in Wisconsin with clothing for one season. Don't do either one of these. At least calculate future expense with current inflation rates, if not considerably higher. And lastly for this video is excess withdrawal risk. I look at this two ways. One, overestimating how much you can take out each month and still have money left many years from now. And two, and this is a behavior I see in a few clients, is to set a spending goal and not be willing to change the withdrawal rate no matter what's happening to your investments. For the clients I've worked with who've been drawing money from their accounts for many years, I've seen how much more sustainable or healthy their plan is if they're willing to adjust their spending down when markets aren't so kind. This kind of behavior might also allow them to harvest excess withdrawals in the good years. Being flexible in your spending and disciplined in following your plan are good ways to overcome excess withdrawal risk. So now what if you live a really long time? Well, next time I'll discuss those risks associated with what most of us hope to do, grow old comfortably and with dignity.